All right, now we can start recording. So for those watching on YouTube, uh, this is just going to be a chill stream playing some good old Renegade Platinum. Uh, no Nuzlocke rules, just standard uh, Pokemon rules. I have a team planned out actually, because I've actually never been um, Renegade Platinum before. I did a Nuzlocke of it once, but I got to like the 7th gym, and then I lost to the... I lost to the... the double battle. It was like a double battle you're forced to do at the, the top of Snow Point City. Quite unfortunate, I was actually quite attached to the team. I don't usually get attached to Nuzlocke teams. But, uh... yeah. I, this is gonna be a casual playthrough, just so I could just say, hey, I played this game before and I beat it. Um... Cause that's a pretty, pretty thing to to kind of be able to say and do, you know. Uh, maybe in the future I can come back to this as an Azlock. But this is also just kind of just an introduction to my first stream, or rather, I've done streams in the past, but I I kind of want to get back into it. And this is kind of just the easy way to ease myself into it, low stress and stuff. So although it is an Azlock, not an Azlock. Um, uh, I know a lot of people like stereo, <laughs> but I'm one of those people that I hate stereo um, because the cries they go on different sides of the ears, and that just kind of messes me up. So if if you are bothered by the lack of stereo, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, we'll keep that on set mode, uh, and we go on the black. Here. Actually, um, no, no, yeah. reason right through this. I have no idea what you're saying. Whatever you said, you said it. Okay. Good. I had not updated like any commands or anything, so I hope no one comes in here and does a command. That'll be quite embarrassing. I think the last command that I had was um when I did the the bipedal lock. Oops, wrong way, I'm supposed to go fight Barry. Or find Barry. It might have been the bipedal Nuzlocke, or it could have been, um... When... I tried to do an Emerald survival run, which is like, no potions. No, like, Pokemon centers, no Marts or anything. Just... Living off the land. Oh, Palmer. I totally forgot Palmer. He's just chilling in this hack. Alright, there we go. Speedy Gonzalez over here. Wait, Vulcaner's just gone. <laughs> Where'd he go? Barry, wh where is your father? Where is your father, young man? He's, he's absent. Alright, so here's the thing. I have no intentions of using my starter. Technically, I will be using a starter. So I should probably, um, pick the Pokemon that's assigned to that starter. I, I, I uh, want to be using a Fire starter, not a Johto, or sorry, not a Sinoan starter. And that's not spoilers of the Pokemon that I'm picking. So I'll leave it up to, ch uh, to, um, process of elimination to either a Kanto or a Hoenn starter. But I'm going to be picking the Fire starter, so I should pick the Fire starter... Just for the sake of consistency. But this fire starter we won't get for quite a while. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, you should probably know what fire starter it is. Um, just based off of the fact that I'm using a fire starter in an ongoing playthrough. So it's probably not going to be that one. It's probably going to be a different one. So if it's not Cyndaquil and it's not that starter, then uh, and it's not Trimchar, then a uh, process of elimination to kind of tell you what it is. That's doing some gaming, what the heck? I remember when I was nuzlocking this, uh, it's quite common to lose this battle, I believe. I think we switched to Ember here. I'm going to try to adjust my computer real quickly, actually. I'm gonna see if it 
Does the... Is this better? More comfier for me, rather. Okay, yeah, that's probably... That's okay. You can still see my face quite fine. Actually, I kind of want to tilt... <laughs> I want to tilt the, uh... The laptop a bit. Here we go. In the future, I'll get... Yep. Yeah, uh, we're dead there. <laughs> In the future, I'll get like a webcam, like a proper setup and stuff, but this is just kind of testing the waters a little bit. Yeah, we, we get no experience, but that's okay, because I don't want any experience, to be honest. Um, the first Pokemon that we'll be uh, having on our team uh, is actually in that house. If it's not the Chimchar, and it's not the mom... Um, you could only assume it's the, the Pokeball that's in there. We're going to be using uh, the Eevee. Fucking love Eevee so much. Is Cyrus here still? Yeah. I was, pl I've been, I was playing um, <laughs> Brilliant Diamond uh, a couple hours ago. So I, I have that in the mind where he's just not there. You, you don't even go back here after you fight Barry. You don't even fight Barry. You just, you get the Starly, you kill the Starly rather, and then uh, you just kind of go. Alright, see you later. Dude, I, I left at the same time as him, like a frame off, and he is nowhere to be found. Well, now he's definitely gonna get there first, I, I got a wild encounter. Alright, we have no reason to, uh... To fight you, little Nidoran. I should have used the Nidoran in this team. That would be cool, but I don't wanna. We're actually getting three Pokemon um, before the gym fight, so... Let's see if uh, we can actually <laughs> beat the gym leader. It'll be a three on six. I won't be allowing um, healing items in battle, but maybe I can, I can allow hold items. Probably not, though, because I'm not gonna do like a... Currently, in, in, on a, my YouTube series, I am doing um, Deathless, so like, if I faint in the gym battle or something against a boss, like, I kind of just reset the footage. But, uh, in this, I don't think I'll do Deathless, because this is pretty a difficult hack, from what I remember. I could theoretically do it, like, it'd probably be possible, but I'd have to probably plan my team out. I don't want to nickname you. Sorry, Chimchar. No, I pressed no on accident. <laughs> All right, uh, speed in through here. Can I smash B now? No wait, there's, he's gonna ask me a question, isn't he? There we go. Now I can smash B. Thank you for this useless item that I will never use. I would have much preferred the return TM. Thank you. That was pretty cool, though. Now, should I cap my levels? Or not cap the levels, but should I, like, not fight wild Pokemon at all? That would be interesting. I think I'll do that. So, I think... <laughs> I, I think I have to actually fight a couple wild Pokemon just to be able to beat Dawn, because I know you fight Dawn. So actually, is she an... Is her win an optional win? Like, can you, are you allowed to fight against Dawn? Like, is it like the rival? Who knows? Alright, Twin Leaf Town. Grab that Eevee. Ooh, do I- I think I want to save. Do I have a nickname in mind? I, I didn't plan nicknames for this. So I guess whatever, uh... Whatever gender this Eevee will be, is what it'll be. Let's see what's up. Oh, I should probably have thought of a nickname because now I'm gonna be. <laughs> now I have no idea what I want to name it, and I'm gonna be wasting time. 
Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, I, I'm gonna give myself like five minutes of research <laughs> before I grab this thing. Give me one second. Let's see, uh, I don't want to spoil what its name might be. Actually, I should probably see what gender it is first, right? Yeah. Alright, it's a boy. Um. Ooh. Is this, is this the word what I think it is? Yeah, this could work. There we go. Risk. That should probably give away what uh what I'm evolving it into. Though it it could be up to speculation. Uh, there's like two Pokemon that it could be just with that name. Hmm. No adaptability. Run away. All right. Let's see if uh if Dawn is is optional to win against. I should be using the repels there, but I can't be bothered. I want to see it for the next route. Yeah, we have a uh, holy mother of graphics. Let's deposit the gym char. We uh we have two more Pokemon that we need to catch before the gym, but they won't be until for a while. We get the second one um once we get to Jubilife, and we get the third one also once we get to Jubilife. I get the thing that was here. I don't even remember. I did. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Alright. Sand Gem Town. Let me... I am awful at controls. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to save here just in case it's not an... Well... <laughs> I guess that if, uh... If I faint, we're going back to, um... Put one leap down. I want to reset if I fainted. In the case that it wasn't- HOLY SHOOTS! We are definitely losing to this thing. We are definitely getting our socks knocked off of our shoes with this Razor Leaf. Weird. I'm surprised we actually did that. <laughs> Alright, knock me out. I dare ya. Oh, I have to win the fight. Oh man, so I have to grind a little bit. Alright, let's attempt the fight again at level 6. I doubt it'll do anything though. I think I'm gonna need to go to at least level 7, so I'll probably go to level 7 real quickly. I'm gonna throw out these bites, because they can... Well, if I was faster than... He dies. <laughs> Holy shoots! You gotta get out of here. I don't want to speed up all the time. That's a thing. I'm only gonna speed up when it's necessary, like, these grinding sessions. Though, I hope I won't have to grind too often. I'm hoping that rock experience can carry me. Oh my god. Things are crit machine. What the heck? Briss, come on. <laughs> but I, it wasn't your fault, right? Like, you got critical hit. That's that's subject to the, the Starly being mean as opposed to you not performing up to your standards. Let's try this again. Oh, you know what I just noticed? The stream title is actually... Um, let me fix the sound. This stream title is actually probably different than it should be, right? Let me fix that real quickly.
Pokemon Renegade Platinum. Casual one. Smiley face. There we go. Should be all fixed. Alright, back to your regularly scheduled fighting. Alright, once it gets level 7, we'll try again. Oh my god, this thing can poison sting us. Or poison point. Oh my gosh, need a ring. Get out of here. That's not what I meant, by the way. I meant, like, need a ring in general. <laughs> this is uh, actually reduced shiny chances. We don't have Pokeballs. I wasn't gonna use it anyway. Um, but yeah, the uh, the thing about this hack is the um, the shiny rate is actually increased, so it's not even that um, cool that we got the shiny. But I should get Pokeballs. I totally guess. I wasn't even looking at how much money I had. I just <laughs> I just stopped when I thought it was appropriate. Did we heal? We should probably heal. We're already here. Alright. Back to whatever the hell this is. Let me see if we can get away with the knockout. We probably can't now. <laughs> we took too much poison damage. Yeah. Don't worry, Brisk. One day you will be potent. However, that day... Not now. Probably not tomorrow either. Actually, yeah, tomorrow you'll be good. But not today. Do these things not have poison? point anymore. I mean, I know it has a 50% chance to have Hustle. Or, yeah, no rivalry. I just realized I have Covet. Covet's way better than Tackle. What am I doing with my life? What the heck is this? Sand attack. Oh, hell yeah. Better than Tackle. Okay. So, um, we are good to go to try to fight this, uh, this Piplop. No, Turtwig, rather. I'm gonna sand attack. I have no qualms with sand attacking this thing, by the way. I don't know what you, you guys are up to with your anti-evasion hacks, but for me, sand attack is, is a good or reliable. As someone that does a lot of deathless Pokemon runs, um, Sand Attack is, is quite, quite a good move. You can withdraw all you want, buddy. Actually, no, please don't withdraw all you want. I preferably want you to miss all you want. This is gonna take forever, isn't it? I'm gonna speed this up. Oh my god, I am not beating this thing at level 7. Alright, level, um... Level 8, I guess. We'll try. And then we can do it again. I just, do, I just don't want to grind more than necessary, you know? Let's see if I can squeeze a... Uh, battle before we have to go heal. There we go. See, this, uh, Dawn there, she is programmed, or rather, the intent of her there is to kind of 
you use your strider to just breeze past it with the elemental because like she she has the one that's you beat but uh, i had j just an eevee so yeah good luck with that all right we'll try again at level eight Alright, Don, show me what you got once more. How am I still not faster? Am I minus speed nature? I'm gonna have to grind more than more than level eight. Ugh. Come on! Oh my god, we have a chance to outspeed. That means uh, at level nine we can outspeed, so this will be more consistent because we can sand attack and probably dodge the razor leaf. So back at it again. <laughs> Grinding hell. Good news is, uh, now that we discovered that we have Covet, <laughs> these fights are going a lot faster. Alright. Come on, we can- we can hit the, uh, the door eventually. I'm gonna speed up the Dawn fight, because we need the- the sand attacks. All right, here we go. Three, four, excuse me, I need to start fighting. Excuse me, I need to try that again. I think she's beatable now that we're level nine. She's probably beatable at level, um, oh my god, my arrow key is just not working there. Oh, she was probably beatable at level eight, honestly, if we were set enough times with one sand attack. Actually, most definitely, because if you give it an infinite amount of times, if you, as long as you get one sin attack, uh, they'll miss eventually. Excuse me. Excuse me. We'll do it eventually, Brisk. I, I believe in you. you. You're a potent individual. Oh my god, this is an am am amorphous blob. Please let this be the one that, uh, that wins. We can't defeat uh, Don, but we can defeat the, the uh, missing no. This Turtwig is so good at hitting things. The sand attack does not do what it's supposed to do in this game. Like, was it nerfed? Okay, it does miss. No, you are so close. We'll do it. We're, we're, we're gonna do it. I believe in- I believe in my Eevee. We can do it. <laughs> Maybe I'm better off just starting bites from the start before it gets all these boosts. Alright, flinch it to death.
Imagine if I wasn't doing this on- Oh no! <laughs> I should have coveted there, actually. Alright, let's try with fights. We, we could do it. We could do it. I refuse to level up further than this. Let's just try, like, coveting off the bat. I, I feel like that's gonna work better. That did not work better. Punch. Nope. We can do it. We I trust in... This is, this is tragic. On all, like, fronts. Sure, crit me. We will do it eventually, I believe. I should have added like a counter going on. I have no idea how many I've lost by now. If you've ever wondered what it's like behind the scenes of uh, my Leaf Green versus Blue series, uh, it's not this. <laughs> It's actually this, actually. Uh, you, you just lose, or rather, you do a, a complicated strategy, aka spam sand attack a bunch, and if they hit you once, you lose. We could do it, though. I, I believe. Come on, Brisk. Alright. Six sand attacks will not hit a single time. Good news. And now we try to flinch it to death. Yeah, we won. I don't think there's anything we can do. Nice. Alright, Pokeballs. I told you we could do it. I believe it in, in good old Brisk. Oh, I should probably be using Repels now. Get away from me, Shinx. Oh, we get 10? Thank you, Professor Rowan. Quite generous of you. Oh, actually, I want to see the move um, documentation. Uh, where is it? Pokemon changes. When does my evolution get its elemental move when it evolves? Level 16 is the max. Okay, so if I don't evolve it by level 16, then I'm screwed. But I think I will. Dude, there's something in my eye. I've been trying to like play it off as if there wasn't, but uh... To be completely transparent with those of you, uh, there is something in my eye. And do with that information as you will. Beedoof. I have like no PP on bite, I have like 10 PP. Punch again, please. Okay. Ooh, quick attack. Uh, that's better than Tail Whip. Technically. Uh, there's actually some runs where I actually prefer Tail Whip. But, I, for right now, you know, zero stress. Maybe I need Tail Whip later, I can get it. Because Tail Whip is a good move, people under Ruts can make Tail Whip. They can make a lot of 3-hit uh, KOs become 2-hit KOs. Especially if, like, um, there's a lot of challenges I do where uh, the Tail Whip user actually can't do anything about the thing that it's Tail Whipping. So then you switch into a Pokemon that can, like, threaten it, but um, would die to it, like... Would die if it was, like, normally up against it, so Tail Whip is good in that regard. 
Alright, flinch. Well, now I don't think Covet will KO you. Thank you. Last trainer before we get our next Pokemon. Fun fact. I don't remember what my team was. Should have wrote it. Actually, I did write it down. I could check it later, though. I know I'm not going to get my uh, fourth member for quite a while. I'm going to sand attack you just once. Oh boy. Nice doggy. Stay. Stay. Don't attack me. Come on. Stay. Stay. Alright, uh, flinch time. Alright, Growlithe, you do you, buddy. <laughs> whatever, whatever floats your boat. Burn me. Thank you for not protecting, kind sir. Flinch! What did I just say? I rescinded my, uh, my gratitude. I think Quick Attack can kill here. But we have 16 PP on Covet, so no reason to risk it. Goodbye, Burmy. Flinch! Uh oh. You should have sent out the Zizagoon first. This would have been a much effective strategy against me. We could lose here. I don't know what to tell you. Alright. Brisk hit one more. The mirror match. I'll show you a covet. There we go. Thank you, Brisk. Grab this item real quickly. Ochon. Me Stardust. Very good. Don, I have no interest in whatever you're going to be telling me right now. Unless it's Looker. If you've seen the international policeman Looker, then... <gasps> Holy shit! It's Looker! <laughs> And it wasn't even by your own doing, Don. You just happened to be here by happenstance. I could have done this on my own. Actually, I probably wouldn't. I would have gone straight to the po uh, the Pokemon Center, healed up my Pokemon, and in that time, uh, Looker would have left. So I thank you, Don, for letting me see my hero, the International Police Force member, Looker. All right, let's heal. So uh, you can fight these guys with the starters. I don't want to. Instead, I want to get the poke edge. Oh, I have to grab my charger real quickly. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Is my camera all right now? Nope. Yeah. Here we go. Alright, um, fix out my layout here. By that I mean, um, I actually... There we go. Oh, Quick Claw. Thank you. Alright, let's get some team members. First up, we could go up to get the first team member, but I want to go left to get it. And that kind of spoils what I'm getting. Technically, it spoils what type of Pokemon I'm getting. Obviously, I'm grabbing the older rod here. As for the Pokemon I'm getting in the north, it could be a myriad of things, so good luck guessing that one. Oh, dive balls. Hell yeah, I totally want to catch things in dive balls. 
I want to give every single one of my Pokemon a different Pokeball than what they uh than each other. All right, let's catch some thingies. First try, first try. Nope. Nope. The first try. Second try, second try, second try, second try. Yeah, we got it. But like I said, I have no idea what I'm nicknaming things. So I'm going to have to do some research on what I want to name you. Oh my god, you're doing nothing. Please don't crit. Actually, if you crit, it doesn't matter. I think you can... Right here, too. And it still wouldn't matter. Holy moly! You are you are a feisty little individual, aren't you? You, you are quite potent. Well, get in this dive ball, please. Thank you. Alright, what the heck am I naming you? Again, give me five minutes. Uh, if I can't think of something in five minutes, I'll just think of the first thing that comes to mind. But I wanna... I want my names to be quite... Quite smart. Let's look up what sea stars Uh... Is there any, like, cool species of sea stars that we can name it after? Learn about stars. They can regenerate, I knew that. Oh, let's look up what kind of sea star star you is. Is it based off of any specific sea star? Or is it just a regular sea star? As in like a generic one. Staryu is named off of meteors, what the heck are you say? Japanese for meteor? That's pretty cool. Um, I, I had no idea this uh, Pokemon was based off of meteors. Ikabuchan gem? What the heck is that? It is a gemstone that is shaped or polished. Pretty cool. Hmm. I'll name you. Oh no, I was gonna name you Polish, but Polish sounds like Polish. Um. All right, starfish breeds. What type of starfish are there? Chocolate chip sea star. What the heck? I'm naming you Brittle, uh, after the, uh, the, sh the shiny Brittle, spiny Brittle starfish. Brittle. He's just a Brittle guy. Alright, let's teach you some moves. What the heck, where's my LNR feature? I've been playing uh, Heart Gold, and you can just press L and R to sift through them, uh, the thingies. Alright, that's better than Rapid Spin for sure. Whoa, am I holding a Stardust? Or do you hold Pearls? Star Peace, holy shoots! That's pretty cool. Rash, ooh, that's nice. That's minus speed though, special defense, even better. And I got the good ability, I got Natural here. This is the best star you in the world. Thank you, Brittle. Oh, sh we should do a B naming thing because we got Briss, we got Brittle. We should just name everything with a uh, B and R. So uh, let's heal up. I think I have the bike already, but I don't want to use the bike. The bike's lame. Now that I know that I'm doing a BR naming theme, what uh, what can I name my next team member? I have some time to think before I get there, as in like one or two Trina bottles, because he's in the cave. 
Uh, let's repel. Oh, the, the ball looks so cool. Oh my god. I love that so much. Oh, there's so much detail put into these games. That was actually pretty good damage. I'm quite impressed with that, Brittle. Thank you. The Psy Wave changed in this game to do actual damage. I do not want to try to find out. I could care less. See you later, you punk. You still have magic card? Oh wait, I'm actually gonna have four team members before Rourke. I said I was only gonna have three, but I just remembered I'm going to have four. What the heck was my last team member? I don't remember what the heck it was. I'm gonna check real quickly. I remember writing it down. Oh, okay, yeah, I know what it is. Oh, I should have. Water pulse, not water gun. Alright, see you later. What level is my star you? That's the, the the downside of having this pretty fast tech speed, is that I don't even like kind of recognize what I'm doing. I'm just playing it by the motions. And I still haven't thought of a name for my next team member. I've had all this time to think. Cause it's like, I have to commentate, too. So, like, the time that I'm not, like, talking is, like, the time that I'm thinking about the name, but then it makes the commentary in itself less appealing. Uh, so I'm at a catch-22 right now. Hopefully I can filibuster my way into a, into a name quite soon. But I think I'm gonna have to look things up anyway. Yo, if only I coveted there. That would've killed. I like using Bite as opposed to Covet because like the flinch chance, so if, like, if I know I can't one-shot, then I can at least fish for the crit, you know? You know, Brisk, you should really let me know beforehand if you're going to get a critical hit or not. I feel like that should be an ability. Like, there should be an ability that says, like, at the start of your turn, it lets both players know if its move is going to crit. So it's like, it's the first, it's the only Pokémon that its crit chance is, is determined before you even do anything. I think that would be a cool mechanic. Um, let's go to Brisk here, and we're going to go to, into super speed to find the, this Pokemon. I will appreciate the expert bubble. You're not it. will appreciate the rock tomb too. You are not it. It's it's Rin! Guys, it's, it's Lin. The, uh, my Sandshrew from Leaf Green. There you are. Hello. Alright, let's throw a million Pokeballs at you. Oh wait, no! I wanted to catch you in a different Pokeball than the rest of my team. I need to find another one.
watch it like never appear ever again. Because statistically speaking, it's possible I can never see it again. Hey, you're a different uh, gender now, canonically. Please don't kill. Thank you. Alright, I have one premiere ball. Please do please do the job. Oh, wait, does Jubilee have heal balls? I think Crobat would look awesome in a heal ball. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna look up, actually, if, if Jubilee has heal balls. Jubilee. Okay, Mart. You do have heal balls. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I'm gonna have to catch a Zubat for the third time. <laughs> I need to catch the Zubat again. Oops. No, go back to the thing. Thank you. Alright, I am sorry, everybody. I love Caterpie so much. I, I, I want... I should use it. I'm so tempted to catch it. No, wrong one. This is where the goods are. Yeah, I can only catch two. No. All right, let's get back to uh, the business. All right, we're still on super speed until we find the third Zubat. This is like reverse baseball. Three strikes and you're in. Come on, Zubat. It would have been awesome if it was a shiny Zubat, because a shiny Zubat, uh, when it's a Crobat, it would actually have the same color scheme as um, the Heal Ball. Actually, I have two boy. Actually, Starly is not a or Starly is not a boy. I was gonna say maybe I should get a girl one. Well, that's okay. You can be in this Heal Ball. Oh, the little blue um, line on the Pokeball matches Zubat. That's pretty cute. Alright, what is a BR name that we can give this? Words that start with BR. Preferably like a one or two syllable word. Rash, Brian. Brood? Brood could be cool. Break. Red. <laughs> um, Break could be a good name for a different Pokemon that I'm going to catch. Um, oh, this is so cool for Zubat. Um, in Generation 5 and onwards, it gets the hidden ability Infiltrator. So we're going to name you Breach. All right, we have a Zubat. Let's see what's up with you. Rash! We have two Rash fellas! Pretty nice. My Breach is, uh, unfortunately, not too impressive in terms of Moople. However, it's going to be fighting some Abras, and Abras have hidden power fighting, so we quad resist that, so we're doing good on that front. Alright, see you later. See you later. In fact, you guys deserve more than that. You guys deserve to be freed. The brave warrior. The matchless general. Off you go. Chimchar, you can stay there. Maybe in the future you'll be useful. I don't know if they removed Rock Climb as an HM, but uh... Wait, where are we going? We should be going over here. Sir! Come on. Alright, grab me the scope lens. I don't want to use items right now. If, if things are too hard, then I'll use items. Though, if things are too hard, we're just going to get experience in the fight anyway, so, like... Mm. Oh, wait, we could get hidden power. 
from... Oh, we have to fight these guys first for hidden power. Uh, yeah. I should have talked the other one first, because this guy gives you the item, so it'd be faster to fight the other one first. Because you wouldn't have to talk to him over again. Alright, Breach. All the little sparkles from the heal ball. Pretty cute. I'm so used to, like, catching everything in Pokeballs. Just because, like, that's, like, how I play sometimes. But I've been kind of forcing myself to use other Pokeballs recently. And it's... I, I totally forgot they have, like, different animations. I know, like, the net ball, like, it shows, like, the net and stuff. So that, I think that's pretty cool. Because the little... It gives the Pokemon more of an identity, right? Ooh, that's mean. I wanted to kill you with Absorb. The good news is, uh, Breach is not taking anything from these things. It's taking like two damage per hit. One more, buddy. Wow, that is... Like, I know I, I hacked the game in so I could be able to skip the XP share stuff, but wow, that was... Wait, no, you're gonna confusion me! <laughs> no! Thank you. Thank you. Uh... Oh, I forgot to heal. Whoops. Well, Brisk, please don't, uh... Don't do things that badly. Please do things efficiently. That is quite efficient. Ooh, I'm gonna get blasted by HP fighting. Never mind. Screw the rules, we're not- we're not healing. Rather, maintain the rules, we're healing. Cause, uh... If possible, I don't want to go run to the Pokemon Center unless I have to if I'm in a route. I don't know why I made that way more complicated than I needed to. I could've just went. Switch the Astonish and then switch the Supersonic. That's okay. Ooh, Ralts. Reach, are you faster and can you crit? <laughs> uh, we'll go to Brisk. Probably not the best idea because uh, you have two Pokemon. So you could just get a crit here and knock me out. And then I'll be, uh... Oh, right, you're Fairy type. Good thing I crit. It's so unsettling to see a fairy Pokemon in Gen 4, I'm sorry. Like, that totally messes with my mu muscle memory. Like, that's how I remember, like, Pokemon's typings, like, by this, their sprite. If I see a sprite, it's like, okay, that's not fairy, and if I see a, a 3D model, then it's fairy, you know? Obviously, that only regards to the... The fact that you're faster than me is quite impressive. Um... I think we're losing to this, are you? Not gonna lie, everybody. I should have probably went brisk or um breach. Yeah, we're we're losing to the star star you. Wait, we have a chance. Please breach. No, we lost. <laughs> That's okay. Round two, we got this. And now we know to, uh... Actually, bite was a 2 okay, regardless, so we can still bite for the flinch. Ooh, confusion. Quite pesky. We'll stay in, though. We'll covet, though. For the damage, just in case Brisk goes down here. Because a good old hidden power. Well, I should probably save Brisk, right? Because, um. Because of that Staryu. He's probably my best bet against Staryu. I've never used a Staryu in quite. Let me rephrase that. I haven't used a Staryu in quite a while. Um. 
I can remember two occasions in which I used Staryu. I don't know why I side weave there. I should have water pulsed. Um, I remember using it in a leaf green playthrough. Um, it was a casual playthrough because this was before Nuzlocke existed. I remember using like a, a Starmie in leaf green. It was a very, very broken. That Pokemon can learn way too many moves. Um, and then I used one in a black two Nuzlocke. Uh, it was a drinking naming theme. And its name was Kool-Aid. And it was actually on the Elite Four team in one. Other Pokemon from that team, if I can remember correctly. I have Latte, which was a shiny Lievene. I found it uh, while I was grinding for, um, for Charon. And the very cool thing about that Nuzlocke run was that um, it was me and a group of people Nuzlocking at the same time in a voice chat. So it was it was quite cool um, for everyone to get hyped at the fact that I took a screenshot of the shiny Suwaddle and was like shiny claws everybody. <laughs> so that that was a lot of fun. Um, it's a Nuzlocke run now that I'll remember forever because of that. I this is the first time that I used I, I've had a shiny in a Nuzlocke before. All right, let's get that hidden power. Can anyone learn a good hidden power? Or a non-redundant one. Reach, you could probably learn. Fire is a good one. Quite like fire on you. Riddle? Rock is very good. That's like power gem. But like 10 BB less. And brisk. Yo, two rocks and fire. We're looking like an igneous rock, ladies and gentlemen. Like my cargo. Oh yeah, we got rock gem. I don't think anyone can learn it. Yeah. Alright, I, I am totally going to forget um, what these hidden powers are, by the way. Because I'm only playing until the first gym, and then I'm going to turn off the game. So I will 100% forget these. Do I want to keep Psywave? Is there a universe? I mean, like, if I'm fighting a very bulky Psychic type, I feel like that could be good. So there's no reason to, to keep Water Gun. And then Brisk. Uh, all of these moves are good. Mm. As much as I'm sad. Actually, no, I... I'm sorry. I know the Nuzlocker in me is going to be so mad that I'm getting rid of Quick Attack, but I have no intention to... Book attack right now. I'm sorry. I feel like sand attack is marginally better for right now just because the first gym is uh, Rourke. And I know for a fact um, once we evolve our Eevee, we're, we don't need ice. We don't need a quick attack. We actually probably will need it, but um, I, I just don't want. I'd rather have the utility of uh, making something miss in case. We need it, at least for right now. All right, let's find that Kecleon app. <laughs> Kecleon, where art thou? Oh, hold up. Should have been the magic art. Oh, it's a draw. <laughs> Where the heck is Kecleon? Is that one? Yeah. This is so cool. Uh... You know what? The next gym is a rock type gym leader. Let's make it brown. It looks pretty bad. <laughs> Not gonna lie. How does it look on the layout? Mm, I want to go back to the to red. Now, if only I can remember. I should probably remember what it is. What number? I'm going to go with blue. I think blue looks very cool with the layout. Because I have the blue watch and everything. Okay, it's 22. Now, what the heck is the team... 
What's the team number? There we go. Alright, rival battle. Hmm. You are going to have a Starly lead, and then you're going to have a Piplop. So I should probably save Brittle for the Piplop, and we can go for Brisk. I'm sorry, Breach, but you're not going to be too useful. For right now, at least. It's so weird seeing the glaring blue on my screen. <laughs> Because my, uh, it, it looks better on the layout down there because it's tiny, but on my screen it's just, just a big, huge blue because both of the screens are the same size. You have Hidden Power Rock, right? You're the one with Rock? I think it's Zubat with the one with Fire. Yeah. Good job, Risk. Munchlax. Oh boy. I'm gonna sand attack you. See, this is where the sand attacks- holy shoots! What the heck? I'm gonna sand attack you again, because now I'm not sure if I can- <laughs> If I can beat you with <laughs> without them. Um, Breach, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to deduct a little bit more of your happiness, buddy. I think I need you as a uh, as fodder. Oh my god, that's doing nothing. I am so glad we kept Psywave. Psywave is gonna be so good against this much box because it's so bulky. Oh wait, we have recover. We should have went with Brittle all along. Look at all this damage. Watch this. Watch this. Boom! Look at that. Boom! Just as for reference, let's see what, how much Water Pulse does. Does it pop the same? Oh, let's go. Let's heal up. Why does the, the HP heal slowly, but the the opponent's HP damages fast with this cheap? Alright, now this is where the Psy Wave has the big bucks. So I think Hidden Power Rock would probably do more. Because the bad thing is Psy Wave is completely random on its damage output. It like I think it like checks your level and then multiplies it by like 0.5 and... Point three or something like that, and then it picks a random number from the uh, the damage output. This could, we could probably lose this thing if it uh, if it confuses us. That's kind of unfortunate. Brutal, it's all up to you. Whenever I say brutal, I'm reminded of community and Britta. <laughs> We can we can do one more before we heal. Watch us get hard punished by uh the confusion. Hmm. No hard punish. Maybe we should go for our own water pulses. Maybe confusing it is the one condition. We'd be doing only like a little bit less than what we're doing right now. Heal. This is this is a slugfest, folks. Quite the slugfest. Oh, to be fair, we both have our hardest hitters. No offense to uh, Brisk in the back, but uh, I think Brutal is way more <laughs> of a hitter than you are at the moment. Staryu was, uh, from what I remember about um, Little Cup. He's a very good little cup Pokemon. Ooh, there's the crit. 
surprised that you got a crit before you got the um, confusion. I wonder if uh, it was removed in this game, because I haven't seen confusion in from Water Pulse yet. Ooh, good damage. Thank you, Saiwayu. Dude, a confusion would have ended my career there. Confusion and then soul fit into a uh, torrent bubble. Sounds not good. Alright, level up. Nice. The EXP share, we'll give that to uh, the Breach. Alright, let's speed up just so we can heal. Oh, I just realized all of our Pokemon won't be in the same Pokeball. Or different Pokeballs, because our next encounter will is forced to be in a Pokeball. Quite unfortunate. I could probably I could go on a Poke Gen and change it if I really wanted to. Alright, tag team. Let's show these fellows that, uh, oh my god, my team is Gen 1. No, I was gonna say, let's show these fellows Gen 1 is best Gen. But that's, that's not a good thing to be saying in this economy. Alright, um, let's get rid of the Shinx. I'm gonna actually get Empower Rock You from uh, Brisk's End, just because of the Intimidate. I don't think this will KO though. I'm not that confident in Brisk. Yeah. Because of that, Riddle is gonna be taking massive amounts of damage. Ooh! I shouldn't have got rid of Quick Attack. I should not have gotten rid of Quick Attack. Because <laughs> now Brittle's gonna get hit and Brittle's not gonna get the experience. Please. Oh my god, Brittle, you are amazing. How are you this fast? I thought you were gonna get sparked out of your mind. That's pretty good that we, uh, we outsped there. Good damage. Good job, Brisk. Ooh, we can easily water pulse this thing. Holy shanks. The fact that you are out you're faster than me. Quite unfortunate. Is Sandra just naturally faster than Shinx? I just did not know that. I would have assumed the contrary. Though it does have the one level boost, I think. If it's if the Shinx is level nine, because that one's level ten. A ton pass, no thank you. Alright, Briss is getting quite close to level 16, that's kind of scary. I think we have to skip some trainers. And then come back to them. Um, Let's try to supersonic this. Sandshrew, not me. Come on, Breach. Nope. Ooh, roll out, that's kind of scary. Well, at least we got rid of the Zubat. I think that crit was actually necessary. Tata. I need to get rid of this for Tata. Because that way we can, um... We can have the score just be the century. I probably should have bitten the Rattata. Because, uh... I don't think Covet will kill here, but I think Covet Bite will. But that works out too. Yeah. Unfortunate. But we can um bite the sand true. Do we die here? Yeah. Unfortunate. Alright, Brisk, can you take this on on your own?
You do have minus one attack, which is quite unfortunate. Oh wait, no, I'm slower. Why am I biting? I think we lose here, folks. Alright, sand attack and pray. I'm gonna speed this up because I think we lose. Oh, let's go, Brisk! Brisk! I knew we should have kept sand attack all along. Awesome stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go back and heal. Because there's no way Brisk can take that rat on his own. Alright. Oh, we're forced to fight this trainer. Uh, let's go to Brittle. I think I should speed up uh, trainer fights. Or at least do that. Just to make things easier for me. Uh, let's Water Pulse. Good damage. Sand attack's quite a, kind of not good though. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Breach. And Breach is gonna take a million years to knock this thing out, so I'm gonna skip around for a bit. Uh, HP fire, unless it has thick fat. Thank you. My chop. I think Breach can also take this out. But you're gonna take forever. go. Nice. Ooh, another double battle. Alright, let's do it. Psyduck and Firo. Spiro, rather. Uh, this is an easy HP rock on the Spiro. Um, actually, Riddle can HP rock, right? Yeah, you are already HP rocking it. And then I can covet the Psyduck. Let's see it play out. Alright, um... We can still do the same. Level 10. Ooh, wing attack, let's go. Uh, Absorb is actually kind of useful for the gym, isn't it? Um, we don't need HP Fire for right now. We can learn it later. Ooh, no knockout. Brittle doesn't bite the dust, though. Which is good, because uh, we really need this Water Pulse on this Cubone. Easy one shot. Hmm. We can water pulse the sunkern and we can bite the sun sorry, water pulse the Zural, bite the sunkern. Ooh, Clutch Confusion. Ooh, that's knocking out Chris. Or Brittle. That's gonna be the unfortunate part about having all my Pokemon start with a VR. It's gonna be so annoying to uh, refer to them, because I'm definitely gonna get them mixed up. But uh, let's go to Breach. Wing attack this sucker. All right, fairy type. Good job. And Brisk is gonna, Breach is gonna soak up all that experience. All right. That repels up. I should.
Ooh, I could give that to uh, Zubat, but I don't want to right now. Let's get that easy Brick Break TM. Well, first let's get Flash. Such a very awesome move, IMO. That was definitely grammarish. Like the big pearl. We could probably sell that later. Oh man. I <laughs> repel. I stopped holding left because I, I was like, do I want to get the item here? But then I realized the item was on the other side. There's Brick Break. We'll only get one copy of it. But all we need is one copy. Can't skip them. All right. Hmm. Ooh, we could actually go to um. See that here. There you go. Oh no! <laughs> well, uh, we need to go heal Brisk. Or the other team, rather. It's always you, Brisk. That is the last to survive. Very trademark starter like. Hmm. Water pulse. Ooh, nice confusion. It's hard to confuse a Wismer because, like, Supersonic can't affect it. You can confuse Ray it, though, or Water Pulse. I think that's the first time I've ever seen a um, a Wismer get confused because usually, like, you see Wismer in a uh, in Ruby Sapphire Emerald, like the Hoenn games, and the only thing that can really like confuse it would be Zubat with Supersonic. I don't think you get confused right for a while, and by the time the Zubats get confused right, uh, your Wismer should be a Loudred by then. So it's pretty rare to confuse a Wismer, I would say. Does any power rock fail here? Fun fact, all of my hidden powers uh, do not very effective damage against Cooper. Alright, in the next town, let's speed through this tutorial thing. Alright, uh, grabbing this hidden item. And I think the other one's a Pokeball, too. Oh, it was changed to Hearthstone. You don't get the Hearthstone there normally. I should probably get more repels.
Nope. You get them in Floroma Town, probably. Alright, let's heal up. And let's acquire our next team member. Yes. No, it's a Gabby in Ty. Lycia, the Contest Spectacular Idol, also the sister of the gym leader Wallace. Is it Lisa? No, it's Lycia. What? I thought it was Lycia. I come from. <laughs> That's such a good reference. Yes, down. Alright, I can definitely beat you in a battle. Ooh, this is the wrong matchup, folks. This is definitely the wrong matchup. Alright, this animation is way too long. It's so refreshing to be able to speed up things, because I can't speed up things when, uh... When recording um, the boss fights in Leaf Green versus Blue. I'm also doing another series and I can't speed up anything during that, which kind of sucks. Alright, Torchic. Uh, we can go into our riddle here. Speed boost. You know, I could technically turn off the animations, but like it's kind of nice to see it as a visual indication, you know? You know what I mean? Nice, I was not expecting that to do a KO. I was expecting to get a low roll there on the side beam, not like damage in general. Alright. No Trico. Yes, Torchic. Now what the heck are we naming this Torchic? Also, why do I have a guy party, dude? Where are all the girl Pokemon? Um... What is a good BR word? I can name it Break, because it's, uh, it's a fighting type when it evolves. Can't find anything good. I'll, I'll name it that. Brave could be cool too. Brawn. Brand could be cool too. Not that like it, it relates to Torchic anyway, but I think of like branded fusion and like Albaz and stuff. Um I name it bread because chickens can eat bread if you like feed it to them. Uh I need to break. It's also kind of like spelled like beak. Right, get out of here. Get out of here. The Trico was a girl though, that's pretty cute. Alright, get rid of this, um, charcoal. And we need this torture to get as much EXP as it can get. Let's speed through, uh, the tunnel. 
We have a feeling Rourke is going to take a couple attempts, and we've been going on for a while. The unfortunate thing is that I can't just keep fighting Rourke indefinitely until Torgic evolves. Otherwise, it misses out on its, um... Oh, we want to run from this. No, Tor... Revive the Torchic. We need it for repel. <laughs> but yeah, Torchic uh, needs to evolve before we can fight work indefinitely. Otherwise, it misses out on. Actually, it doesn't care about double kick because we can teach it brick break. Can it learn brick break right now? It cannot, so we have to wait. That's okay. Wait, we should probably wait till we get to the. We need to put a repel. And we'll put Reach up front just to ward things. Now we can go with Break. Break is probably going to be fighting a Geodude here, but we just want to get as much XP as possible. Heck, hmm. Better than Scratch. Well, technically it's worse, but it's more useful. And let's get rid of Sidewave. Mm. Sidewave has been putting in work. Do we really need Swift? I feel like whatever Swift will hit, it can power rocket hit. The water in normal is excellent coverage. Um It's <laughs> it's weird. Usually I never keep Sideway, but I kinda like Sideway for you right now. I think I'll I'll keep Swift. Or delete Swift rather. Alright, um go into bat here. Alright, I gotta be careful here because you're gonna give me an EV thing. It is the ice stone, folks. That is the stone that we will be uh, giving our Eevee here. Does Eevee learn anything at level 16 that I want? Because I know Glaceon does. Does Eevee... Adjust real quickly. All right, Evie, what do you learn at 16? You learn Swift. Swift is better than Covet for Glaceon, so I will delay the evolution a bit. All right, Aaron, uh, we can Ember here. We should probably switch our moves. The sad but also cool thing is that we have Blaze. Um, I actually prefer Blaze to Speed Boost. I don't think Speed Boost is very fun. I am a. Uh, let's go into Brittle here. Water Balls. Swift would have been cool there. Um, let's go into Breach. No repel, but that's okay. All right. Uh, this gym can be very annoying. Um. What a move. Ooh, fire spin. Eh, no thank you. Hmm. Probably not as efficient as I'd like it to be. Uh, 
Oh, that works out fine. Waterfalls is still a bit here. All right. What a pulse. Let's switch out to brisk. The unfortunate thing here is, uh, I don't think Project's gonna be able to evolve over the gym. annoying Pokemon to deal with because of this healing, but that's okay. Nice. Did Psywave get boosted to hit more often? Oh, no wonder it's uh, hitting quite often. It's a hunt accuracy. Um... So yeah, we don't care if Torchic loses a double kick. Uh, because we're going to teach a Brick Break. So, let's just throw ourselves at the wall until we beat this Rourke. Nose Pass first. That's pretty cool that uh, his Pokemon is level 15. That's one level higher than Cranidos in the originals as Ace Monster. But not only that is actually um, one level higher than our strongest monster, Britta. Brittle. Nice, good knockout. Alright. Oh, the thing is, if we wipe, we don't evolve actually. Dang it, I should have probably grinded a little bit. And I should have switched out Brittle there. We lose. <laughs> I was mashing. Um That's fine. Please let this be a gen. No in some generations, even if you lose, uh, you, you get to evolve. Fine, I'll train. We will use this opportunity to also uh, get risk some levels. We have Hidden Power Rock, we should probably do that to avoid Flame Body. I think the last one was a crit, which is why it KO'd. And we might as well uh, have Brisk Evolve too. Teach you brick break. Ooh, I think even Rock Tomb will be nice for you. Oh, brick break is infinite. Or 99. Alright. Oops. 
back to the grinding session. That did not kill. <laughs> I thought it would. Ooh, Poison Fang. Uh, shoot. Because objectively, it's way better than Absorb, but I kind of want to keep Absorb just in case. Um, yeah. See you, Absorb. Here we go. Almost there on our uh, EV. It would be going faster if we didn't have the XP share on Breach, but um, I think it's it's pretty good so Breach can get some EXP too, so it can be more useful when we progress. Now, we are almost there, folks. Oh, I thought we would get it there. And now we can evolve our group. Eevee to Glaceon. Um, here's the thing, I don't think we even needed a Swift. Uh, we'll get rid of Sand Attack, finally. And we can teach you Waterfall, so we, <laughs> we probably didn't even need to grind that much. Uh... Yeah, Hidden Power Rocks is way better than Swift. We unnecessarily grinded with Eevee. Or rather, to with Eevee, we could have grinded with uh, Glaceon instead. Alright, let's bust some heads. Leading with um, Staryu is very good because of Natural Cure. This is probably going to Thunder Wave me again. Alright, let's water pulse this thing. Ooh, critical hit. Good job, Riddle. Geodude. Now that we're faster, this should be easy pickings. Rainy dose. We're still faster. Star you is so good, dude. That did a shit ton. We're probably dead to this, though. Why does my HP go slow, but his HP goes fast? Code is weird. Um, We could probably use Break here. 
Ooh, my moves are ordered weird. <laughs> I don't like that. Zen headbutt. I forgot that you could be able to learn that. That's okay. We have a backup plan. We have Brisk. I wonder if we have Rock Tomb. Ooh, Brisk is just faster. Probably should have just went into him. Bonsley. This should definitely kill. Glaceon special attack is massive. Why is that one... I don't understand the, um, the speed cheat at all. Do I have to press A to make it go fast? No. This sometimes works, sometimes doesn't, I guess. Probably take it off. I'm gonna take it off. There we go. I'd rather have something be consistent, you know? Alright, Water Pulse this thing. Good job, Risk. How many more left? One more, right? Yeah, Larvitar. Ooh, easy pickings. Good job. Laceon is so good. Nice. Stealth Rock that I'll probably not use. Alright, I'm going to um, save in front of the Galactics. Just so I know where I'm at before I go. Because uh, we're probably going to cut it here. Or we definitely are going to cut it here. Well, uh... <gasps> Looker, the best person in the entire universe. Right, uh, yeah. Right here is about good. Um, we'll leave with Breach for this. And we'll save, and that'll be it, folks. Uh, thank you for tuning in, whether you are in Twitch or whether you are on YouTube. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.